Hey, hey, Spring of Bay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Capricorn, this is going to be a reading for you. Um, I'm going to take you one of these. Okay, we got Thinker. Okay, that's too many. We've got Thinker out, number 44. Um, I feel like that whatever this is, you need to think outside the box. There's something you're missing. There's something you're not seeing. Um, number five, orphaned. It's time to change the way you think. It's time to change the way that you're looking at something. Um, it's time for you to think outside the box about somewhere where you feel orphaned, where you feel alone. And, um, you know, really dive deep, it feels like, for answers. Um, fives are about change. So, I do feel like, the, you know, and then we got that 4-4 four, four there. You know, it's time for change. It's time for you to change the way that you think about something. Or the way that you allow something to affect you. This all has to do with the way that you allow it. So, you know, for some of you, if you're allowing someone to make you feel orphaned or alone, stop allowing it. You know, if you're allowing someone to um, take you for granted, take advantage of you, stop allowing it. Or if this is you doing this to yourself, stop allowing yourself to do this to yourself. It's not helping you. Think outside the box. See things in a different light. Uh, from the where you've been seeing them in the past. Okay. For Capricorn. What is the message, Spirit? For Capricorn. What's the message that we need today? Okay. Working hard. You know. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you know. If things were bad. If things weren't. You know. Really. Very good where money was concerned. I feel like that's about to change. Um, doors are about to open up. Ways of um, looking at things are about to open up. Or paths to changing um, your abundance. Or how you are going to survive. Or how you are going to have, you know. Um, just remember, don't work yourself to death. Okay. More of a message for Capricorn. Two of, of uh, Wands is reversed. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. Okay, see here. Seven of Cups reversed. Then we have the Seven of Cups upright right next to it. It's almost like the way... Okay, you're not seeing that you have lots of options. Do you see what I'm saying? For things to work out, for abundance, for stability. You have lots of options, but you've got to see it. You know, it's almost like um, not seeing what's outside your door. Not seeing what's out there waiting for you. Because that's reversed. Okay, seven of um, cups upright. Well, King of Pentacles, there you are. You know, uh, not seeing what you have. Um, it feels like that there's lots of paths for you. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're stuck in something. Or you feel like you are. But you're really not. You're really not because you make your own choices. You know, you figure things out for yourself. Two of Wands reversed. Clarify. Yeah. See, it's like being too stubborn. This is stubbornness. Because of pain, though, because of being hurt in the past, to make choices that take you forward. You see what I'm saying? It's say, staying in one place, staying um, in a place that, you know, you could be moving in a whole different light. And I feel like that's what's happening. I feel like that that's what's, what's going to happen. Show us more. Any more? Yeah, see... There, there is a king, queen of pentacles out there that will make you very happy. But it's, it's, this has got to do with a knowing. This has got to do with, because I'm seeing that deep knowing card um, from this deck. I had that in one of the other readings. I don't know which one. This is about... 
being able to have what you want, everything you want. See, something beautiful. That's a new beginning. With the perfect match. And being happy. Being happy. But it all has to do with how you go about things. How you see things. You know, are you hanging on to too much of what makes you feel orphaned or alone? Then you need to, to think about things differently. You need to look at things outside the box. You know, are you keeping yourself in something that's not bringing you happiness? Where are you sowing your seeds? That's very important. It feels like at this time. This feels like this could be a soulmate connection. Show me this connection. Yep, there we go. What did I just tell you? It's a soulmate connection. That's, this is beautiful. But the thing is, is something has to end. You know, whether it's this, you know, a connection with the soulmate. Or whether it's a connection with someone that is holding someone back from their perfect partner, their 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 person, their soulmate. Something has to end, and you know it's funny. Look right here. I just I just yeah. Look. See, it's all about sowing them seeds at the right place. Wow. That's pretty amazing there, you know, because this is such a strong connection. Uh, but yet, there's another connection here, it feels like. For some, um, you're involved with someone who has really got you feeling orphaned. Where are you putting your energy? Are you putting your energy in the right place? Are you hanging on to something from the past that's holding you back from your future? That's another one. Yeah, it's going to be different for different people. Um, can you show me um, Capricorn's weaknesses? Weaknesses for Capricorn, please. Oh, my God, that's too many. Too many. I am going to take those three because they felt right. Okay. Your weaknesses are around. Let's get a look, see here. Four of Crystals, which is control and security. You know, feeling like you have to control everything. You know, um, security. You have a weakness about that. Now, I feel like for many of you, you know, it's a fear of loss. It's a fear of the unknown. It's a fear of um, letting go of something that is not fulfilling yeah, it's almost like hanging on to something because I'm getting I'm getting that someone is being treated poorly, um, but yet they they stay or yet they hang on to it, and it's it's not because it's good for them, but it's because they feel like they have to have control and they have to stay in this because they feel like that's their only security, so they'll be miserable. That's sad. Um, another weakness is around uh, the chariot, number seven. Discipline and determination. You know, where is your discipline? You know, what are you um, determined about? You need to look at that. You know, what's going to make you happy? Are you going to stay in something and be miserable? Uh, that's another thing. Nine of feathers. Um, perspective and self-empowerment. That's a weakness. So, how you look at things. You know, how you look at things is, you know, that, that can make you feel um, a sense of self-empowerment. So, you need to look at things differently. You need to think outside the box. You know, ask the angels if you need to. Maybe do some deep dive. Um, it's very important, it feels like. Um, for some of you, I'm going to be honest, for some of you... For some of you, this ain't even romance related. For some of you, this is either a family member or a friend. And, you know, it's like something went wrong. I feel like. Um, and, yeah. Okay. But for those of you that this is romance related, we've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And that's because this is a soulmate connection. 
But on the bottom, I'm drawn to it, finances and career. You see, it feels like for some of you, I'm going to be honest, now that's ain't for all of you, but for some of you, you may feel attached to someone because of financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So it's it's almost like someone is allowing someone to treat them like crap and they just stay because they're they're fearful, you know, they don't want to give up what they've got. They've got so much time invested, you know, and they don't want to lose out. But in the in the long run they wouldn't lose out because they would build with this other person. That's for some of you. Um, because, you know, it's almost like they're in an unrequited love situation with someone. And they're staying in it because of money, finances, and career. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And it's almost like they just stay because of the money or the um, abundance or such. Uh, when, you know, their person that they're meant for, their soulmate connection is out here. Wow, that this is a strong really uh, reading here. Um, I do want to take um, you an angel, one of these angel cards, because for some of you, like I said, this is friend related or family related, and you know you're being called to really look at th something differently. Look at something, um, you know, how you let people treat you. Or how you've uh, allowed people to treat you in the past. And this is about healing as well. Helper of thought. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can and know you know will meet or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So that's either you or someone you're dealing with or going to be dealing with. That's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I don't feel an extended on this one. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the prayers um, and uh, much light and love. Till next time. Bye.